Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm going to make a little clip to help you out with the project, the stock project. I've had several of you reach out to me with uh, need for clarification, so I thought I would uh, make a little video here to uh, help you out. So first off, um, as you can see from the screen here, when you get to the uh, class project uh, area, uh, sorry, I keep calling it a group project because it was designed as a group project, but we're making this an individual project. Uh, and by the way, this is a fun project. Do not stress out. If there's anything that you need clarification on, reach out to me. Once you get the hang of it, I guarantee you're going to find this very interesting. So you have $100,000. You need to invest it in five stocks. And we're going to split the 100 k in five. So that's $20,000 per company. The first thing you need to do is uh, to get one stock here from the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So you can easily uh, find out what that looks like by clicking on the hyperlink that I've created. So basically, pick one of these companies. That's the Dow Jones Industrial. Uh, and that you're gonna track one of these. Uh, once you've done that, just write that down for now. You wanna pick your five. Uh, three stocks from the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. Uh, just so you guys know the big difference is that the NASDAQ is more for like tech stocks, right? So a lot of the IT companies, tech companies are traded on the NASDAQ. So you want to pick three. You could do two and one, you know, whatever, however you want to do it, or all three of them from the NASDAQ or the New York stock, whatever you want. So pick three. And the last one is a little more interesting. This is uh, the IPO. Uh, you have to pick one IPO. And I'm asking you no older than April 2019. So to do that, I mean, yeah, there's many ways. You can just Google new IPOs. Uh, but iposcoop.com is one of those websites that's pretty popular. So you'll go here, and then you, you can see down here there's a bunch of new IPOs, new companies, right, telling you these are the tickers, uh, how many million shares are coming out, uh, when they're expected to trade. Obviously, you want to pick one that's already out. Uh, what this means is that you might have to kind of play around with the site a little bit uh, to see, you know, there's an IPO calendar, kind of tells you, uh, when IPOs are scheduled to come out or when they came out already. Uh, there's a lot of different things available to you. If you prefer, I'm totally okay with you just doing a Google search on like 2019 IPO and then you'll find out what they are. And then just pick one. All right, once you've done that, so you'll have five stocks, right? Once you've done that, you're going to want to go to finance.yahoo.com. So I just, you know, you could just type finance, oops, uh, if you do finance Yahoo, it'll pop right up. There we go. And, you know, this is really straightforward, easy, simple way to find stuff. Is it the only one out there? No, but it's a good one. So um, I used the example of General Electric uh, online, so let's just do that. So what I'll do is now I need to calculate how many shares I can buy uh, with my $20,000. So what I'll do first is type in GE over here, General Electric, right? So now I found it, I click on it. And here it is, right? So now GE, uh, you know, trading has already ended. And it's letting me know right here that one stock, uh, one share of General Electric is $8.71. And so now remember, you have $20,000 to invest, right? So I kind of walked you through right over here. I have a little example how to buy $20,000 of GE stock, right? So follow that. You're gonna take your 20K. Now that we figured out that the stock was 871, what I need to do is I divide 20,000 by 871, and I'm gonna get 2,296 shares, 0.21 cents. What you find out is that with a bunch of companies, you'll have extra money left over. Um, and this is where, just not to confuse you, but to let you know, you're gonna to wanna to keep that money and maybe reinvest it elsewhere. Let me give you an example. If instead of GE, I wanted to invest in uh, Tesla, right? So here's Tesla. If I want to invest in Tesla, one share of Tesla is $227.45. So I might have more money left over uh, when I try to invest 20K into Tesla. All right, so so far I hope all of this makes sense. By the way, pay very close attention to that chart over here. When you're trying to find what your stock price is, it's really important that you do this after 4 p.m. Eastern time. 
because if this thing is still moving and you're kind of halfway or whatever, it means that share is going to change by the end of the day. And you're only interested in the shares at closing of day. All right, now, one more, couple other things. If you want to go back in time because you didn't track your stock, you know, for the last three days, you can click on historical data over here. So once you click here on historical data, you, you scroll down and you will see a calendar and all the dates. What you want really is close, but if you want, you could do adjusted close uh, instead of close. You can see the numbers are almost always the same, but sometimes uh, CEOs, CFOs, all the big wigs uh, or special institutions can trade after hours. So there will be time where you'll see that the after hour close is not the same as the close, right? The adjusted close. So anyway, food for thought. Um, so that's to find what those stocks are. When you track the stock, there's different ways of doing it. Everybody has their own little method. Um, personally, I really like Excel. So if you're okay with Excel, fire up your spreadsheet. And, uh, and what I love about this is they kind of make it easy, right? So here we go. Let's open up a new spreadsheet. And uh, I'm going to put in the first date of trade, right? So we said on the project that the first date of trade, I believe, buying your stock, let's see, it's going to be here somewhere, I hope. Um, there we go. All stocks must be, must be bought by September 4th, right? So today is the 6th, right? So what we'll do here is we go back, uh, oops, sorry, we go back here, and uh, on the 4th, uh, you know, like if, if I'm doing this for Tesla, uh, it was 226.89. So what I'll do is uh, I'll need to put it September 4th here. Actually, let's see if this worked. No, I did it wrong. Sorry, guys. 9 4 2019. There we go. So, uh, Excel is great at figuring out dates. Watch what happens if I click on that little square bottom right, if you don't already know that, and I drag it down, it will automatically populate with the dates, uh, you know, until uh, the end of the year, right? So, uh, you know, you'll just have to figure out what the last day of uh, trade was on the syllabus, but um, that's what's going to happen there. So now, here I have automatically all my dates enters. Obviously, you'll want to delete the weekends. You, there's no trade on the weekend, so once you find out what the weekends are, just delete the Saturday, Sunday dates. So now here we are at 9-4-2019. What I'll do is I'll enter 226.89. Hit enter. And then I'll go on the fifth, and I will enter 222.50. I'll go on the sixth, and then I have 227.20. All right, so here are some dates. Now, obviously, today's Friday, so what I'll do for uh, Saturday and Sunday, like I said earlier, I will just get rid of that. Right click, delete, and boom, we're done. So now, let's go back to today. The whole point of this exercise is for you to track your stock. So, uh, 9 6 2019 is today. I'll go back here and uh, go back to my regular uh, stock page for Tesla. And you see that today stock opened, right? It looks like it opened uh, at uh, what, 229 and, and, and it ended at 227. So, the Tesla stock dropped almost 1%. That's what that is, 1% right there, uh, you know, for $2.13. It's not huge movement, it's not really a big deal, but uh, what you can do is you can scroll down over here and see if there's any stories about Tesla that move the stock one way or the other. That's the whole point of using Yahoo Finance. They're really great at kind of letting you know. Because there's not a lot of movement in the stock today, you're not going to find anything really special, right? Uh, because there's not a lot going on. Uh, now, on the other hand, if I wanted, uh, I don't know, the, uh, let's see, let's just do this for fun. Um, so, if I want to find out, you know, uh, there we go, top losers, uh, there's different websites that will do this for you that will let you know who's doing well and who's just tanking. Uh, and so, the top losers of the day are these companies. So, there's one called Domo. 
Um, so let's just enter Domo over here. I'm just giving you an example. So Domo over here is an equity company, um, and it dropped 37%. That's huge, right? But now, if I scroll down over here, I'm going to find lots and lots of stories about why the stock took a dive, right? And so here's one, uh, utterly destroyed today. And so I look at my story, okay, and it'll kind of walk me through. Uh, there we go. Uh, down, whatever. Sec so they, after the company uh, reported second quarter earnings, a result uh, met or beast, but investors were rattled because Domo also cut its full year guidance. So it's going to walk you through explaining what that means. So why am I telling you all this? Because what you want to do is take some notes. So if something here happened with Tesla, let's pretend something happened. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, smoked weed during an interview. He actually did that a while ago. It didn't go well for the stock. And so what you're doing is you're tracking the movement, what's up, what's down, etc. Uh, when you're going to present your stock to the class, I mean, sorry, to the class, when you're going to post a little presentation online, and I'll talk more about that later on, don't freak out. Uh, what you'll do is you'll highlight this. Uh, you can uh, insert right here uh, your chart, right? And in this case, we're probably better off uh, with a you know, line chart. So here we'll do this. And sure enough, uh, I'll be able to get my line chart. So here we don't have a lot of info, but the cool thing about doing it this way is let's pretend the stock took a dive, 119, and it'll start populating it automatically for you. Uh, 115, uh, and then it goes back to, I don't know, 125. Anyway, that's what's going to happen. Save that, keep it. My recommendation is for you to enter this every day. At the end of the semester, what's going to happen is you will have a total, right? So let's say that you started with the stock, and we use GE as an example, so let me go back. Uh, we started with the stock of GE, and we said when we invested $20,000 in uh, a stock worth $8.71, in the end, I ended up buying about 2,000 shares. So my total investment in GE was $19,098, right? The leftover money was $1.84, and I walk you through the math here. So what you'll do is, let's pretend it's the end of the semester, and you started with $20,000 with GE, and you, in the, you, know, you, you ended up with $15,000 with GE. In the, at the end of the semester, what you're going to want to do is, uh, again, with Excel, uh, I mean, I, I like Excel, so you know, it's what works best, I think. But let's pretend that over here I started at $20,000 with GE. I end up with $15,000, right? And so here we have GE. And then we have company X, right, over here. And we have company Y, and we have company Z, and we have company A, right. So there's my five stocks, right, three, four, five. Now, we started with $100,000. And uh, let's say that you end up with, I don't know, $80,000. I mean, the math's pretty straightforward, right? So what you'll want to do here is uh, you'll want to explain to the class uh, what happened there, right? So you lost $20,000, and you'll, ex you know, again, when I say the class, you're going to post this on uh, Canvas. Sorry, you guys, I keep going back to my group project. And you'll explain, okay, uh, as an owner of an investment firm where I created this, part, this portfolio and I invested in these five companies, I lost $20,000. Um, the main reason is, I don't know, the Trump tariffs on China, blah, blah, blah. And uh, what I learned from this exercise is X, Y, and Z. That's the whole purpose of this. Um, and, you know, it's kind of gratifying when you invest 100 grand and you make more, more money at the end of the semester. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, with the timing right now, it, it, I, you know, I think it won't be very surprising if, uh, if you do end up losing, uh, uh, you know, some cash. All right, I hope that helped. Um, please give me some feedback. Let me know if you have any questions, anything. And uh, also, uh, feel free to help each other out online. Um, I know a lot of you are very familiar with the online classes. And uh, of course, one of the main advantages is that you can ask questions to each other, help each other out. I'm obviously here for you, I, I, you know, but I know that it also works really well when you guys do that. All right. Um, well, have a great and uh, productive weekend. And let's see if I can, uh, there we go.